Welcome back, everyone. Today, the Lord is saying in due time. Many of you received that word that was released about you being pregnant. And I want you to kind of have that in your mind as you receive this word, as well as for others of you who maybe you didn't hear that word, but this one is still for you also. And God is saying in due time, remember, and I just kept hearing the Lord saying this in my spirit as I was in prayer and meditation and just sitting before him, asking him some questions. And this is what he wants you to keep in mind that whenever he promises you something, then we often get so di so distracted and too focused with the time of it instead of remembering that God has a divine order for all of these things. And so if you're pregnant right now in the spirit, that means that you there's something that the Lord has placed in you. There's something that he wants you to uh, continue to believe him for. There's something that he has even placed there that all of a sudden you have a desire, or you have a pulling towards, and you know that you're spiritually pregnant. Just like in the natural, when we have due dates as women, there are due dates for these spiritual things to be birthed out. And so God is saying in due time. Now, remember also in the natural, when these things come too early, then that can cause a lot of complications, not only for the mother, but for the baby as well. So that's why you have to make sure that you're up to term, okay? That you're full term. That means that you're ready, that you're equipped, that you're exactly where you're supposed to be to see this thing come to pass in your life because it can not only affect you, but it can also affect those that will be affected by the promise that God has made to you. So you want to make sure that you're full term and that you receive the promise, that you receive the victory in due time. Now, for those of you who you don't even recognize that you're spiritually pregnant, but there are just things that God has been speaking to you that he's been showing you and you're believing him for, it's in due time. God has the perfect timing. Now, remember, we learn patience. We learn perseverance. We learn what it means to die to our flesh. We learn what it means to understand God better and higher and deeper. We grow as we go through this process. So in due time, these things will come to pass. In the meantime, what do you do? You continue to seek the Lord's face. You continue to put him first. Because when you put him first, you seek the kingdom first. You That means that you're seeking the mind of God. You're seeking all of those things that are involved in the kingdom. Then everything else will be added unto you. So I pray for you right now that you would receive this word, that you would stay patient, that you would stay diligent, that you would stay with your ear tuned to the Lord, with your eyes fixed on him, and that you would allow him to continue to prepare you for all that he has in store for you to step into in this new season in your life. All right. I love you, family. And just receive this. If this word is for you, then thank the Lord right now for it. put in the comments, say in due time and receive that he has the perfect timing for you. Okay. I love you guys so much. Have a blessed day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.